My name is Lindsay Christensen and this product is the Lovely Loba. That's the name of my company. The product is, it's a ball of organic material. It's a ball of lotion, but I was like, nobody wants to say lotion ball. And so I, and it's a totally new product. It's a ball of lotion. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, so it's a totally new product, totally new concept. And so I felt like it needed its own name. And so I kind of took lotion ball down and I've called it the Loba. We use only organic materials. We use organic butters, organic oils, and CPTG essential oils. So everything is pure, raw, no parabens added, no chemicals, nothing man-made. Um, so just basically, I, what I wanted to do was go back to the basics of like the good things, the good ingredients for our skin, the things that are healing, the things that are creamy and soft, but also like actually give you results, hydrate your skin. But how do you make it just stay together in a ball? <laughs> I mean, so, you think lotion, you think liquid. Yeah, some people are like, oh, I thought I would touch it and it would just like mush apart and be like all um, messy. Shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, and jojoba butter are solid at room temperature. And so when they're in a more natural state, they're actually solid. And when you roll them on our, your skin, so our skin is 90 degrees, right? When you roll them on your skin, your body temperature just melts the ingredients. If I'm taking it with me, I have a little like glass canister that I put it in. Um, airtight is best to store them in, if, yeah, especially if they're in your purse, because they will melt. I mean, it's, it's like chapstick or chocolate. If it has direct sunlight on it, it's going to melt. Um, but I keep them in the room with me like when the shower is going and it gets all steamy and it's totally fine. So they're not like, they're more solid, they're not going to fall apart. This blend that I'm holding here is the Jojo. So, and it's just jojoba butter. It's jojoba butter and jojoba esters. And then I have a blend, my original blend is called the Native. And it's cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil. So it's healing. So the shea butter is very healing. The cocoa butter is very hydrating and the coconut oil is very cleansing. So that's like really good for like cracked skin or even like eczema psoriasis. And then I have a blend called the Franken Shea, and it's frankincense and shea butter. Two of the greatest things for your skin, so it's like deeply hydrating, deeply healing, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. I actually have some older women who have arthritis, and they'll use the native, which doesn't have essential oils in it, but just the cocoa butter and the shea butter and the coconut oil are anti-inflammatory. Or they'll use the Franken Shea, and those two blends actually will help with arthritic pain. Now you don't really look like a chemist and a scientist. <laughs> how, like, how did this all come about? So I was a cosmetologist for um, over a decade, for about 12 years. I've always had dry, sensitive skin. I've always loved creamy moisturizer. Um, I found out in high school that I had an allergy to what I thought was just an acne treatment at the time, benzoyl peroxide. Um, but I found out later, you know, over the years I found out it's in more and more things. It's in almost every hair product, almost every skincare, like lotion especially. Um, so I had to avoid more and more things. And then being in the cosmetology industry, you know, I was around those chemicals all the time and I honestly felt like it was affecting my health. And I just started looking into ingredients and materials and chemicals and just got like just kind of geeked out on all of that stuff and what was good for your skin and what was toxic for your skin and so yeah I don't necessarily have like a chemist background but being in the cosmetology industry and then just my experiences of like sensitive skin, dry skin, the, aller the severe allergy that I have just made me do my own research and find out what was really good and what wasn't and, and when I found out these really good ingredients I was like I, I can't find anything that's just like these pure butters and currently I make them in my house. Whoa! So, so it, but I'm working with a manufacturer to hand it over. I'm mostly online right now. I'll be in some stores in Utah and Southern California shortly, but right now I'm mostly online. My Instagram is the lovely Loba. My website is thelovelyloba.com. And if you want to email me, it's hello at thelovelyloba.com. I'm happy to answer questions. It's a brand new product and concept, so feel free to reach out.